Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Cambodia is ranked 20 out of 120 countries that have sent female soldiers to the UN peacekeeping operations. Since 2006, Cambodia has deployed more than 7,826 peacekeepers, including 494 women, to join UN peacekeeping mission in Sudan, South Sudan, the Central African Republic, Turkey, Cyprus, Lebanon, Mali, Yemen, and Syria. Now, I would like to take this floor to introduce all participants to meet some of our Cambodian women peacekeepers. The first person I would like to introduce everybody to Major Jie Jaran. So Major Jie Jaran, the screen is all yours. Thank you, Ms. Su. Good afternoon. My name is Jaran. I am 34 years old. I was born in Kampong Cham province in a military family. My father died in 1988. So I was raised by my mother and my grandparents alongside with three brothers and one sister. I started my primary school at age six and finished high school in 2005. I went to Bilbray University for my bachelor degree of business administrative and graduated in 2011. I started military job in 2010 by military in grad exam. It was not easy to be a student and military at the same time, but I could do it. I have passed along the hard time and it also makes me more stronger than other women. After joining military, I had the time to train as a peacekeeper in peacekeeping training school. I spent there for three months for overall train in the field and in the class. During that time, Cambodia was hosted to play even it called Angka Sentinel 2010. Many countries were participated by us, Thai, Philippines, US, India, Bangladesh, and Israel. I was so surprised at how could I come this far. And I was so happy to learn more about the world and the meaning of peace. After a Chipo event in Cambodia, I have participated in Chipo event in Thailand and Mongolia in 2011. This was the first time that I have time to travel abroad. In 2012, Cambodia was deployed two companies to admit. They were level two hospital and military police with 152 groups and around 15 females. I was posted as military police member. There were only six females in this company. My job was to monitor the speed limit of UN vehicles, investigated sexual harassment, ID check, investigated traffic accidents, monitoring rotation of groups. So I had to work under the hot weather. This was a hard job for us that UN staff did not like to obey the rules. And this was the first time that I had known Africa. I found African to be girl people with kind hearts. In 2014, I was nominated as lead agent officer for Cambodian Nobel to Hospital. It was second time for me to be there in Africa. I was responsible for MOP, for escort doctors and patients. Prepare monthly and daily patient bill, liaise with other UN partners regarding transferring Patient from level two to level three hospital. My job was a little bit harder, but I loved my job and I was happy to serve South Sudanic life. I saw the living condition of the people who have nothing. I learned how to communicate with other cultures and manage in the local market. I saw how strong Malaya is in the local area. In 2015, after coming back from the mission, I had been traveling a lot for UN planning, such as UN Power Officer Training Course in Cambodia, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka, UN Logistic Course in Mongolia. In 2017, I was participating in the trainer course 
in Nepal, and I was the trainer for T Point in Six Point Land One in Nepal. At the same year, I was passed the Australian test and had a time to participate in UN military expert on mission in August 2017 and attended gender workshop in September 2017 in Canberra, capital city of Australia. In early of 18, uh, 2018, I was the platoon commander, lead the platoon to participate in Chipoy, even in Bangladesh. There were 39 soldiers with only four female soldiers. We were the first time that Cambodia deployed the lady platoon commander to attend the Chipoy event. At the same year, it was the lucky year for me after having in many UN training courses. I was selected as Mukon Staff Officer for Army. Everything was new for me due to I was the company member before. And this position I was alone, working along with other staff from other countries, and I was the only woman in the office. I was responsible for preparing passenger manifest and public, Receive and send the flight, load and offload cargo and luggage, and check in passengers. Being alone in the team was not easy. I have been struggling a lot during my tour of this team. I had learned how to manage my own stress and taught myself how to live away far from home, far from my family, friends, and culture. Eating well. Exercising and sleep are very important to manage in such situations. I try to be a good co-worker, team player, and leader of other people. It is important to be flexible and adaptable to others. At the end, I would like to say thank you to Sambak Akhet Mahasuna Paday Dejo Hun Sen, Prime Minister of Cambodia, that he always encouraged give opportunity to all boys and girls to get their rights. I wish all girls must be strong and brave to be continue to develop our country. I am proud to be a peacekeeper and I am ready to serve other people. Thank you.